President-elect Obama says he wants to create 3 million new jobs in the coming years. My next guest says small business is the economic engine of the United States, and it's being ignored by the incoming administration. Lloyd Chapman is the president of the American Small Business League. Lloyd, please explain this to us. Well, there's uh, over 26 million small businesses in America. Um, they create over 80 percent of the new jobs. And uh, most Americans work for small businesses. And yet, if you look at Barack Obama's uh, latest website, uh, you won't find much for small businesses there. On the campaign website, he puts small business issues uh, uh, at a very low priority between seniors and sportsmen. And I just think that's uh, uh, in the wrong place for issues about small businesses to uh, when you're looking at uh, the, the type of uh, economy you're looking at. We're looking at uh, the worst economic situation America's seen in many, many years. And if you want to create jobs in America, you need to start with small businesses. And I think Barack Obama um, is really uh, going back a lot of his campaign promises he made to small businesses. Yeah, in fact, uh, your organization was a backer of Obama until right before the election. Why the change of heart then? Well, yeah, we endorsed him during the uh, primary. And uh, I did, uh, gosh, dozens of radio shows uh, for President-elect Obama. And about three weeks before the um, election, he dropped all of his small business uh, proposals that we'd worked on for several months. We were part of his small business council, and we worked with small business uh, people all around the country to put forth issues that would help stimulate the economy and create jobs and small businesses. And about three weeks before the election, he dropped them all. And in fact, the main one he dropped that we were upset about is in February, uh, he said that he didn't think Fortune 500 corporations should get government small business contracts, and that's one of our main issues. But just days after making that statement, he dropped any reference to it. And if you go look at his change.gov website now, you won't find any mention of Barack Obama's promise last February to America's 26 million small businesses to stop the flow of government small business contracts to, as he said, corporate giants. Well, Obama actually got more ambitious over the weekend, saying now that his administration is going to create 3 million, not 2.5 million jobs. How can he do this without the help of small businesses? He can't. In fact, one thing that we're very concerned about is uh, uh, I'm predicting that Barack Obama will sign federal legislation that will actually um, create a loophole that will allow wealthy venture capitalists that were major uh, supporters of the Democratic Party to um, participate in government small business contracting programs. And I um, was not happy when I saw that he nominated uh, uh, Karen Mills, a, a uh, large venture capitalist from uh, New York, to head the Small Business Administration. I think that's a, a clear signal that he does intend to adopt federal policies that will divert federal small business contracts away from the small businesses where most Americans work and into the hands of some very wealthy uh, venture capitalists that were major contributors to the Democratic Party. Lloyd, what is the one thing that uh, the, the Obama administration could do that would be most helpful to small businesses in 2009? Well, you know, I saw um, Carly uh, Florina and Laura Tyson on television yesterday, and they were saying that the best way to create jobs in America and boost the economy is for the government to spend infrastructure dollars with those small businesses. And there's an existing federal program that's been on the books since 1953 that says 23 percent of all government contracts should go to small businesses. And since 2002, there's been 15 investigations that found that most of those government small business contracts actually go to Fortune 500 corporations. So. If Barack Obama wants to stimulate the economy and create jobs in America, he needs to stop the government from giving small business contracts to big businesses and try to infuse those federal infrastructure dollars into the hands of the small businesses where most Americans work, and that will create jobs in this country. Well, and I'm glad you brought that up because at the top you gave us a sort of scope on how large or how important small businesses are, but we hear this term all the time. It's almost ambiguous. What exactly is a small business? Well, the U.S. Census Bureau says 98% of all U.S. firms have less than 100 employees. And that's my definition of a small business. When you walk around the neighborhood you live in, you know, you can kind of tell what a small business is. But today, the federal government is literally giving small business contracts to Fortune 500 corporations. And I think that needs to stop. Okay, Lloyd, really appreciate it, and good luck with your endeavors. All right, thank you. Well, it's great for customers, but is it possible that there's a downside to cheap gas? Well... We'll let you know when we come back.